Welcome to the last day of Dark Corner's Vladvent calendar. Unless you support us on Patreon, in which case you get a bonus video. I know there has been massive online speculation about what Dracula poster we've saved for last. Well, speculate no longer. Because of its title, F.W. Murnau's Nosferatu is not eligible for our countdown, even though it is generally considered to be the earliest version of the Dracula story. But is it? It may be, but it also may not, and the reason for that uncertainty can be summed up in one striking image. Dracula's Death is an Austro-Hungarian silent film made in 1921, which means that it predates Nosferatu by one year. Unfortunately, the film is lost, so we can't be sure that it's based on Bram Stoker's novel. Evidence suggests that it's not and has more in common with The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, released the previous year. It's set in an asylum and follows a woman inmate there who believes that she's seeing Dracula but isn't sure if these visions are real or not. It sounds really good, but I think that the poster contributes to the interest that horror fans have in finding this movie. Obviously, it's a striking image, but it's also a prescient one. How many posters have we seen with this color scheme or with comparable images highlighting fangs, claws, and staring eyes? Dracula posters start here, and in some ways, this sets the tone. Some hope remains we may get to see this film, as rumours persist that there is a copy in a Hungarian archive, but whether this got there first or Nosferatu, Dracula's cinematic centenary is approaching, and it's worth taking a moment to wonder at the resilience and endurance of this character over the last hundred years. We've seen the good, the bad, and the great. We've seen him in his own century, in ours, and in the future, in a variety of countries and ethnicities. We've seen horror and comedy. We've met his family, his enemies, and even his dog. And yet, for all the tremendous diversity, unmatched by any other character with the possible exception of Sherlock Holmes, we've kept a hold of what and who Dracula is, whether he's played by Bela Lugosi or Gary Oldman. Christopher Lee, or even Luke Evans. They only get to borrow the character for a while. Dracula has defined the careers of more than one actor, but no actor has defined him. No actor is bigger than Dracula. That's why his name appears in the titles of so many and such diverse films. Dracula sells. Thanks for watching this, our third annual advent calendar. We'll be back next year, and as always, we'd like to invite your suggestions for what posters we should be looking at. So far, we've always gone with our own ideas, but who knows, this could be your year. Merry Christmas, see you in 2020.